Welcome to Istanbul. <laughs> <laughs> Istanbul, Turkey. With a population of roughly 20 million people, you can most definitely expect an intense pace of life. But it is also a place to make many dreams come true. Full package Turkish barber? Yeah, buddy. Turkish bath in a 300 year old hammam? Yes, sir. Need a last minute hair transplant surgery? Baba heads everywhere. It is a city run by a feline mafia. Cats have taken over this city. And with a short ferry ride that costs less than a cup of coffee, you get the two-for-one continent special to see Asia and Europe. It is indeed the best place to get lost. And we're here for a month. That's right, we've made it to Turkey, the country that straddles Asia and, and Europe. Europe. That's what? crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> We're actually walking Istiklal Kadesi Street right now, which is their main shopping street on the European side. A lot of modern, newer shops. We're staying only a couple blocks from here, not too far from Taksim Square, which is a great launch off point to see other parts of the city. This neighborhood is called Biolu or Biolu or something like that. I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be butchering a lot of these names. So far my first impressions of the Turkish language are it's quite difficult. Yeah, thank you is so hard. Yeah, the word thank you is like the hardest thank you I've ever had to try and pronounce. Thank you. Oh, I figured on one of our first days here, you gotta start the morning off right with a good old Turkish coffee. So we're at this place called Mandavatmas. I don't even know if I'm saying that probably either, but I picked this place because highly rated and a lot of locals come here and first impressions all behind me, all locals. A lot of people like to smoke cigarettes in Turkey, I've noticed that. They always have these little ashtrays everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm tempted to have a couple just, just for kicks, <laughs> just for the full experience, you know? But uh, this will be our very first Turkish coffee experience. Wow, look at that. It's dense. And the one thing I learned from the little bit of research I did online was don't stir. Am I gonna burn my lip? <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna burn my lip. <laughs> okay. All right, patience is a virtue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it super strong? That is a treat. Is it? Yeah, it's strong, but it's just rich and dense and it's definitely, it's like a thicker textured espresso. <laughs> yeah, nope. I got greedy. I try to get that extra sip. <laughs> Don't do it. Lose your tongue. <laughs> yeah, there's a point where like it's more sludge than coffee. <laughs> and our homeboy Ozman gave us a rundown of how they make it. First, uh, put coffee inside, then sand like this. Make pressure. Is the sand very hot? Sand, yeah, sand. Hot. hot yes, very because. Hot. Mechanisma, electric mechanism. Ah, electric mechanism. 300 centigrade. Wow. So hot, yeah. Very hot. You wanna touch? No, it's <laughs> okay. This is named Jezve. 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 The name of Turkish coffee, Közde Türk Kahvesi. Közde. Közde? Yes, Turkish coffee. Közde. Slow, slow cooking. It's cooking it slowly. Yeah, right? slowly. It's better. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Thank you for that. Thank you. We made our way through the sea of people on Istiklal, resisting the temptation to hop on the back of the tram, pet every street cat, and try baklava and Turkish delights on every corner. Until 
we noticed something strange. There are so many people walking around with recent hair transplant surgery done. It is so bizarre. Well, now I'm calling a bobber head. <laughs> There's hella bobber heads running around here. Getting swarmed by bubbles right now. <laughs> so we're gonna walk it. it Istiklal. Okay, there we go. We're gonna walk <laughs> Istiklal Street uh, downwards, heading towards Galata and Galata Tower. That's where we're going to now. I heard it's a really charming neighborhood. Lots of coffee shops, lots of places to just lounge, and that's the direction we're going now. We're in Galata now. I'm about to get run over by a bike, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, lots of boutiques, lots of cool shops, all cobblestone, very busy as well. A lot of juice stands, fresh pomegranate juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, all the juices. Look. Multivitamin. Multipass. Yes, multi. Very good, very good. <laughs> and we're going to be walking towards Galata Tower. I think it's down there to the right though. Yeah. Right there, but yeah, this is just a good vibe place. Whoa. This place is crazy. Oh, that's narrow. Oh my god. <laughs> World needs now. Hello. Hi. Okay, later, okay. Look here. We made it. It took a lot to tell. It kind of took me a little bit by surprise. I thought it was a couple more blocks down, but. I think we should go to the top to get the view. Galata Tower was built in 1348 and has served as a watchtower, a prison, and now it's an exhibition space and museum. Most people pay to take the elevator up for the epic view. Oh my gosh, that's the rooftop. That's the Instagram rooftop. Oh, I didn't mention this either. Istanbul is a very hilly city. Yes. So you got to be strategic yeah. on which ways you go to avoid the least amount of, you want the least amount of uphill. That's the goal. Those glutes will be fired, baby. Yeah, no need for the gym here, just walk. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy. Hello, later, later. Uh, later, later. <laughs> Salt Bay here? Us? No. <laughs> Wait, this is a restaurant? I think so. Hashtag salt bay. Stop. Oh, what's this guy selling? Oh. Castagne. What is that? I think they're like chestnuts. Like chestnuts, yeah. yeah. This is my childhood, man. In Paris, I used to get those as a kid. Huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Hey, look at this coffee shop, though. This is the vibe here. This is where you want to hang out with the view. Right here, you can get a, a Turkish bagel. You can go over there, get oh, yeah. some nuts, some ice called, cream. Simit, I think it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Still working on that. Yeah! I'm most excited about the food here in Turkey because I feel like there's so much street food. This is a sesame bagel, their version. Yeah, Let's it's sea meat. Actually, I think this is the most popular street food here. It's really nice. This with coffee will be great. No, no thank you. Uh, <laughs> trying to get me some. Like, oh, no, thank no, you. I want to get two for you. No, it's no all right, thank you. I smell good. <laughs> We're getting hungry, and I think it's time for a kebab. I'd be lying if I told you it was our first kebab. We've had a few over the last two days that we were settling in here. Nathan said that he thinks he found one of the best ones that's more of a local spot, and we're on our way there now. We just ducked into this kebab place. I couldn't resist. I know we're only a couple hours in today. I had to get one. This place is highly rated, and I'm looking around. I asked, I asked our neighbors next to us what they recommended. I'm going with that. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so Olivia and I, we ordered the same thing, but I ordered the, uh, the loaded up version with extra meat because, you know, it's me. I got to do it. Yeah. And I, I just got to say the the wrap itself is the best looking wrap I've seen so far in Istanbul. I'm going in. Whoa. That is amazing. You got tomatoes, herbs, spices. The meat is so tender, so rich in flavor. And then the, the the wrap is like perfectly toasted. Let me let me undress it for you. Ooh. I mean, look at that. Wow. It looks like a leopard. I yeah. want it to look like an African leopard. We were told this drink Iran actually pairs really well with it. Yogurt, water, and salt. But it's different than Greek yogurt. Okay. Uh, different the Greek yogurt a bit 
Yeah. No, this is great. This is so good. I'm digging it. We'll be back for sure. Okay. Seagulls have entered the chat like hardcore. Look at this. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I'm not gonna lie though, definitely feeling a little bit like, please don't poop on me. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I wonder how many people get chat on every day. Maybe. 200 at least. Two, I'd say maybe upper 300s. Nathan. All right, we're now crossing the bridge to an area called Emmy Nonu. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Maybe. Lots of fishermen on this bridge. Like, literally, there couldn't be more fishermen on this bridge. There's so many. Uh, like fighting for space. Yeah, definitely. And elbow to elbow. I don't know what they're actually catching. I'm guessing it's maybe mackerel or something like that. But uh, we're heading now to the old part of the city on the European side. And uh, truthfully, I don't really know what we're doing besides that. So we'll just see where that takes us. And then, by the grace of God, we got sucked into the street food scene. We're trying the Turkish donut. Great Oh yeah, baby. This will clog the artery. Oh These are God. so fried. They look golden, crispy, delicious. Oh, dude. That's dripping with freaking oil. Verdict? Holy sugar. That's not oil, that is pure sugar syrup. All right, Olivia downplayed it a lot because <laughs> these are actually amazing. They're fluffy, the outside edge is super crispy. Yes, they're sweet, but I mean, it's a freaking donut at the end of the day. Nathan. And the inside like just like melts in your mouth, basically. Okay, it's good, but it's not that good, in I my love opinion. It. I love it. All it's right. an explosion. Hey, I'm always keeping flavor. it real, dude. Always keeping yeah, it well, real. Yeah, well, you don't, it's okay, you don't have to like it. Nathan. Olivia tracked down a much healthier snack. So, cabbage, pickles, I think there could be carrots as well. This is a fermented drink. This is not pomegranate juice. It looks like a fruit drink so much. I see everybody walking around, I'm like, ooh, that sounds so good. This is a salty one. They say, I think, you eat all the things on the inside and then you drink the juice in the end. Okay, so we're gonna eat the pickles and drink the juice. Here we go. <laughs> It's so fermented. It's so pickled. But it's delicious. No spice at all. It just tastes like good quality, fresh fermentation, if that's even a freaking thing. I don't know. But it's delicious. Excited. But you like it? You like it? Mm. I like it a lot. To start to rain, feeling the vibe, dude. Alright, let's get a drink. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, shoot. We've entered a completely new world. To the Messiah Char Shi Si. I think I said that. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Okay. We're trying. The spice, but this, the spice was on. The, the spice was on. Yeah. Wow. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Greeted instantly as we came in. No, hey, my friend, my friend. Which well, let we me like. get more than five yeah. feet. You know. Yeah. Here's a tip. If you're ever in a deal situation with a Middle Easterner, if they say my friend. <laughs> You're about to get screwed. Let me have my first impression as yeah. well, before <laughs> trying to sell me some 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 local, you know, some Turkish delight. Yes, exactly. I'm thinking about this because like there's a lot of competition. I mean, the competition here must be so fierce. Yeah. Because virtually every vendor is selling like very kind of similar. The same thing, yeah. Or at least you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's really who's got the most charm. Yeah. And who's <laughs> honestly whose level of English is yeah to talk with the church. Hi. Get all of this stuff. Hi. <laughs> and you got teas. You want that Gucci bag? Nathan. You want that YSL? You know that you've sung along? You want to try? That's the one you do. You try. Okay, I'll try. You don't have calorie. Uh, yeah, no calorie. No I think calorie. I tried this one. 
Hello. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking for something here, like I can give you one tea if you want for free. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we just got here, we're walking. So, no, we, we are, are here for a while, and for a couple of weeks. So yes, I give you one thing for your way. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Madame? Thank you so much. <laughs> they got us on the damn tea, dude. Sorry, give me free mint tea. I was like, wow, this is so nice. Okay. We got all these different chocolates here, all these different Turkish delights, different roasted nuts and fruits. Everything is so aesthetic and beautiful and colorful. Some peppers, spices. After being sucked into buying four kilos of saffron we didn't need, we decided to keep the spontaneity going. All right, so I just booked an impromptu, spontaneous, whirling dervish show. <laughs> What the heck is a dervish? <laughs> I don't even know. So, we're about to find out. All right, let's go. Ah. Hey, oh, we need to go this way. Oh, it's green. Go. Okay, hurry. Oh, dervish just texted us and told us, ah, run, 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 run. Rumi is a Turkish poet and philosopher. He lived in uh, 13th century. As a philosopher, he was searching like meaning to a life. And obviously in Ottoman times, Islam was a big influence, so he read Quran. And inside Quran, it says that wherever you turn, you may find God. And he loved that phrase. And he took that idea and he started like whirling. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where the dervishes are coming from. One of the movements that they do as they whirl, like one of their fingers will point up and other will point down. And it's like they see themselves as a bridge between like God and humanity. It's like a branch of Islam, it's called Sufism. More than being religious, it's, it's actually more philosophical, so it's more spiritual. And after the show, uh, our transfer will take us to one of the oldest restaurants in Istanbul, and we'll try some different uh, Turkish foods. Eating as much as an elephant eats. A bulgur and tomato paste, and some and pomegranate bulgur? syrup. Bulgur is made from wheat. And what's like grain. Say the name of it again. The food? Chi köfte. Chi köfte. Yeah, chi means raw. Chi köfte. Yeah. And köfte means meatball. Okay. Raw meatball. Raw meatball. But now, because of regulation, now, no longer raw. It's not meat. <laughs> it's bulgur. Bulgur. Yeah, not bulgur, bulgur. <laughs> okay. Okay, is this raw meat or is it not? No, it's not. Okay, it's, it's not raw meat. Okay. But this is one of the things we're supposed to try anyways. The man, he put lettuce in our hands, then the meat, and then a big thing of lemon. It's pretty good. Okay, he showered us with lemon. Yeah. Half of it landed on my wrist, not gonna lie. And about... It's very tasty, but it's freaking me out that it's not raw meat. It's that tartar. <laughs> oh, it's not. No, no, right now you can take, but after the show starts, no dramas. We'll make our own dervish montage. Like a party bus. You're never such a no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes. <laughs> we are about to eat. What's this called? It's called buryam, and it's a special food from the town Siirt. It's a city in Turkey. It's made from lamb. In the kitchen, they have this well. It's like three meters deep, and at the bottom there will be fire, and they lower the lamb into the well and close the top with mud, and it stays like that for three hours. Oh my god! So, which means they can only cook this three times in a day, and it's really crisp. It's really tender, you'll see. And the fat will drip from the lamb and they collect it and later make soup out of it. Oh, he's talking about wow. lamb drippings? Lamb yes. drippings, yes. There it is. There it is. Oop, there it is. 
You're selling it very good. You're selling it very good. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> right, I just had my first bite of lamb, and I just gotta say, this lamb's insane. It melts in your mouth. Incredible, delicious, so tender. The fat on it is just like, oh my god. I'll eat this every day here. You have to call me Sultan Nathan now. <laughs> yeah, you are my Sultan Nathan. You are my Sultan. No. We're coming! We're coming! Mohammed! Alright, we're gonna go see our boy Mohammed, dude. Yes, we told him we'd come back. For this. Oh hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back again. <laughs> Am I doing it? Stay love what the head, dude. Dog. There you go. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Freaking me out. And then they bit. go fast. I feel sick. How do they do that so long? I have this theory that the dizzy they do get this kind of dizzy high you know because yeah. it messes with your equilibrium and your vestibular kind of you know so i feel like it that's part of it for them <laughs>